there's a switch that you can flip that allows cells to reset their biological age and function again as though they were young because literally they are young again. I'm no longer talking about slowing aging. I'm talking about true age reversal multiple times. Scientific experts such as David Sinclair, Juan Carlos Izpizua Belmonte, Peter Diamandis, and many others are betting that epigenetic reprogramming will soon revolutionize the anti-aging landscape and will be used to not only slow human aging, but possibly reverse it. So what is epigenetic reprogramming? It's a process that reprograms age-differentiated cells, such as skin or muscle cells, to younger states. The process is initiated with gene therapy, typically using four genes, called the Yamanaka factors, or with small molecules that activate these genes. Short or cyclic epigenetic reprogramming, called transient or partial reprogramming, has produced the best balance of rejuvenation without a complete reset and low risk side effects, such as cancer formation. Here are four recent major advances suggesting that epigenetic reprogramming will be able to add decades to our lives. One, partial reprogramming makes cells younger. Scientists have tested partial reprogramming on many cell types, finding that it improves cell functions and characteristics. Partial reprogramming has been shown to rejuvenate aged human skin fibroblast, chondrocyte, endothelial, and muscle cells. Treatment of fibroblasts with Yamanaka factors plus two other genes, extended telomere lengths, fixed mitochondrial function, and reset biological age markers such as epigenetic age and gene expression, akin to those found in young fibroblasts. Partial reprogramming on muscle stem cells also showed improved ability to regenerate the function of aged muscles to that of youthful muscles, as well as becoming younger based on epigenetic age. 2. Partial reprogramming improves organ function and reverses organ age. Astonishingly, scientists have been able to scale these findings, showing that partial reprogramming is able to regenerate many organs and tissues. Take for instance the pancreas, which was found to have improved beta cell function after partial reprogramming. In skeletal muscles, partial reprogramming in muscle fibers activated muscle stem cells or satellite cells, promoting muscle tissue regeneration. Scientists were able to show that partial reprogramming, specifically in liver cells, enhanced liver regeneration, counteracting liver failure. Partial reprogramming with only three out of the four Yamanaka factors was able to also restore age-dependent loss in visual acuity and retinal nerve cells. Arguably most impressively, partial reprogramming was able to even improve the function of the most complicated organ of all, the brain. Researchers showed that partial reprogramming caused epigenetic changes in neurons in the dentate gyrus, a region of the brain thought to be involved in memory formation. Sure enough, the partial reprogramming treated mice performed better on memory tasks. Many of these organs had younger epigenetic ages based on DNA methylation analysis, gene expression profiles, and metabolites and biomarkers following partial reprogramming treatment. Think about the miraculous possibilities partial reprogramming could have for those affected by diseases such as diabetes, liver failure, cognitive decline, and equally important, aging. 3. Partial reprogramming repairs tissue damage. As we age, many parts of our bodies get damaged from overuse or injuries. Sadly, we're not built like some fish and salamanders which have the abilities to regenerate their tissues using a process similar to partial reprogramming. Fortunately, partial reprogramming treatment has been shown to regenerate damaged and injured organs and tissues. Heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, affecting many of us, including my family. Heart attacks can lead to heart muscle damage and weakened ability to pump blood. There is currently no way for the heart muscle to regenerate following an attack. Scientists have shown that partial reprogramming before and during a heart attack lessens the damage and improves heart function. Aging increases our risk of diseases, including eye diseases such as glaucoma, a degenerative disease which is the second leading cause of blindness. 
David Sinclair's team was able to show that partial reprogramming with three out of the four Yamanaka factors promoted a youthful epigenetic signature and gene expression pattern in neurons in the eye. Remarkably, this treatment reversed the vision loss in a mouse glaucoma model. Another common disease that affects over 50% of individuals over the age of 50 is degenerative disc disease. DDD is caused by weakening and breakdown of discs in the spine and can produce pain and mobility issues. Transient treatment with Yamanaka factors block progression of DDD, suggesting that partial reprogramming may be used as a treatment for this debilitating disease. These findings suggest that the possibilities of partial reprogramming to treat degenerative diseases is massive, with the potential to treat common age-related diseases such as cardiovascular disease and osteoarthritis. 4. Partial reprogramming extends lifespan in animals. While these findings are very exciting, the magnum opus of researchers in this field thus far has been studies showing that partial reprogramming can extend lifespan in mice. Partial reprogramming on middle-aged mice for 7 months was shown to be safe based on blood counts, neurological tests, and gross histology. In the landmark 2016 study, scientists showed that partial reprogramming in a premature aging mouse model extended their medium and maximal lifespans compared to non-treated mice. A follow-up study showed that when partial reprogramming was applied once early in life, it improved the structures of organs and increased lifespan by 15% in a premature aging mouse model. The latest study, yet to be accepted in a peer-reviewed journal, shows that partial reprogramming in old mice extends their medial lifespan by 109% over control mice, and the treatment improves several health parameters too. As exciting as these findings are, scientists need to show that partial reprogramming extends healthy human lifespan before partial reprogramming can be taken seriously as an anti-aging therapy, which is no easy task given the long human lifespan and lack of universally accepted aging biomarkers. They also need to make sure partial reprogramming is safe in humans because teratomas do not sound fun, except for maybe this one. Another major hurdle is figuring out the method to activate Yamanaka factors, either through gene therapy, gene editing, or possibly small molecules. Finally, how many times can partial reprogramming be applied? Could this process be repeated to dramatically extend lifespan as David Sinclair suggests? Although it may sound far-fetched at the moment, immortal jellyfish appear to achieve biological immortality through similar cycles of epigenetic rejuvenation. Let that sink in and try not to get too excited about the potential implication of these findings for human health and aging. If you'd like to learn more about epigenetic reprogramming and future anti-aging therapies, Check out these videos.